Today we're going to be playing with some SparkFun ProtoShield kits. The 07914 is the part number. These sell for $10 a piece and when they're assembled clip on top of your standard Arduino and allow your circuits to be more permanently wired than using an external breadboard. I've taken the parts out of the bag and we have the board which we'll be populating and we have all the components that are going to go on the board and they've stuck all the parts into a piece of conductive foam to keep it protected in a cute little smiley face type manner now I've got all the parts removed from the foam we've got three resistors we've got two capacitors we've got two push button switches, two LEDs and four sets of headers which will all go into the board I've put the two 330 ohm resistors into the board on the left hand side and the 10k ohm resistor up at the top right the two 330 ohm resistors are the resistors for the two LEDs to prevent them from blowing out and the 10K is a pull-up resistor for one of the switches. I've inserted the two capacitors. They are not polarized, so it doesn't matter which way they go in. And they're the same value, so it doesn't matter which side of the board they go on. The resistors, likewise, are not polarized either. They can go in either way. But they, it is important to get the right resistor in the right hole. Now I'm going to go move on to the LEDs. The LEDs have been inserted and the LEDs are polarity sensitive so there is a flat spot on the LED which matches up to a flat spot on the graphic on the board so it's very important to get those lined up correctly as I've been soldering these on the other side I've been clipping the leads with my diagonal pliers and that makes sure that I've got nice clean cuts on the back of the board now onto the switches now that the switches are installed, it's time to install the headers. I just want to show you one quick look at the back side of the board. Everything is soldered nice and neatly. And then we're going to line up the headers in the holes that they, end, that they belong to. And I will show you where they go in the next step. So the 8 pin headers go on one side of the board and the 6 pin headers go on the other side of the board and you can't mix it up because they only fit in the proper places. I'm going to get a side view here so you can see how they're lined up. And it's important that you get them straight. So I've done a visual on them to make sure that all the pins are straight up and that the two sets of headers are even with each other, that the one's not kicked out to one side or the other. It's going to be a little tricky soldering these, but I think I can handle it. Now we're going to go ahead and solder these pins. And I'm going to do one on each end of each set. To hold it in place. Just to make sure that they're lined up properly. I'll just kind of bend them a little bit if I think they're off. They look good. You want to make sure that you get them in the outside holes because there's a second row of holes for those pins on the inside and that's where your wiring goes.
want to make sure I have the soldering iron on there long enough to heat the pad as well as the post so to get a good clean solder joint if it's just stuck to the pad and not the post it won't make good electrical contact and vice versa Now we've got the finished board sitting on top of an Arduino. You'll notice this is not a Rev3 protoshield, so it does not connect to the new pins on the new Unos, but for the project that we're working on that isn't necessary. But if you need access to those Rev3 pins, then you need to talk to your supplier about getting a Rev3 Proto Shield. The one thing I'm concerned about is that the left hand pin on that switch on the left and the right hand pin on that resistor might touch the shield on the USB interface. So we will get out our meter and we'll do a continuity test between the shield and to those two pins to make sure that there's no touching. But that's how you assemble a SparkFun ProtoShield, and we're going to be building some projects today on this board.